So here are the best possible secret Android settings that you can do for your smartphone. It doesn't get any better than this. It just doesn't. Hey everyone, my name is Kaushal Malkan and you're watching Tech Whoop. So today we are going to talk about seven different secret settings that you can start using on your Android smartphone right away. And these tips are so hidden and secret that I can safely bet that none of your friends will know most of them. And in case they do, let me know in the comments right now and I will personally, personally ignore it. And along with these seven tips, today I'm also going to share one very, very good bonus tip with you just because I'm feeling very generous today. And trust me, stick to the end of the video, okay? Because you are going to love this tip and it just might change your life, okay? So on that note, can we aim for 100 likes in this video? It's not a lot and uh, okay, so smash that like button now. So let's start with tip number one. Don't you just hate it when you give your phone to your friend to use and once they return it back and you check your phone, so there are actually no recent applications present, but you definitely know that there is some dirt on it. And plus that slight grin on the face of your friend just adds fuel to the fire. I hate it too. So until now, there was no way to finding out what your friend did to your phone. But what if I tell you now there is. And you don't even need to use any external third party applications or anything in that. It's actually a feature in your Android smartphone. And today I'm going to tell you how to do it. So now all you need to do is open up your phone dialer and type in star hash star hash 4636 hash star hash star. And then just you will see this type of page opening on your phone. It says testing and there are three options in front of you. Phone information, usage statistics and Wi-Fi information. You have to choose the usage statistics and it will show you a screen somewhat like this. So it has the list of the app name, the last time it was used and the total usage time of that app. So here you will see the list of apps that your friend has accessed and at what time. Well, it's not actually possible to see what changes he has performed in your apps, but you can at least know which apps he has opened. It's a very handy trick, so you're welcome. Trick number two. Are you one of those people who constantly browse stuff on your phone's browser? In that case, it might get tough at times to see what is present on what tab, especially when you have opened multiple tabs. Here, horizontal tab switching will probably ease your life a lot, especially when you have like around 15 to 20 tabs open. So horizontal switching will at least tell you like which tab contains what content. So in order to do that, just fire up your browser and type in chrome colon slash slash flags so this will open up a page which has a lot of developer or tester settings that you can use on your phone so there are a lot of settings available over here but we need to focus on the horizontal tab switcher so in the search box just type in horizontal and you will find the option enable horizontal tab switcher in front of you so click on the default and change it to enabled so now just restart your browser and you will see the tab switching enabled right away now you can easily scroll your tabs in a horizontal manner and won't have to face the confusion that you had to go through earlier. Tip number three. So what do you generally do when you have to share a piece of text with someone? You either copy paste the text or if it's a very long text, you generally take a screenshot and save it for viewing later. But what happens is when you actually see the screenshot and you zoom in to look at the text, the text is all pixelated and you're unable to read it clearly especially if it's a very big article. So in that case, what we can do is we can just save the entire web page as a PDF, which will just give you amazing clear text that you can easily read and even copy for future use. So in order to do this setting, just open up the tab, whatever you're browsing on your smartphone and click on the three dots that's present at the top. Here you will see the share option where it will be to an option to print out the page. So once you click on the print page, you will get an option to save that page as PDF. So once we save it as a PDF, we can easily view it as an offline access and no matter what page it is, text quality will not be compromised here. Tip number four. So this tip is generally for all the students or the college kids out there. So with this tip, what you can do is you can easily digitalize your notes. So if you share a notes a lot with your friends and want to have like a digital copy of it, you can easily do it. 
and you don't even have to install any other application for this this is through one of the inbuilt applications that is on your phone so just open up your app catalog and here you will find google photos this is an inbuilt application in all of the smartphones and here just directly open the app and tap on this icon right here what it will do is it will scan your entire text and it will find all the text that is present on it and you can directly just select the text and copy it that's it and to top it off you can even translate it to another language or if the text is present in another language you can easily translate it to english quite a handy tool right tip number 5 so we all use emojis every day but sometimes do you feel that the emojis that are present on your phone don't really do justice to you i mean yes you use it every day but it just doesn't have that feel you know and if that is something that you're facing then i have a good news for you you can now actually create emojis with your own face on it and you don't even have to use any applications it is directly present in your gboard directly open up your gboard and click on the emoji icon and here you will see an option to create an emoji with your own face in it after that just take a selfie and it will directly create a new emoji based on the shape color and the pattern of your face now you can easily send emojis to your friend and these emojis actually look like you tip number 6 so do you know that you can actually use your google now to make it remember stuff like it can take down notes for you and you can recall it whenever you want and trust me this is very very handy only if i knew it before so it would actually save a lot of time of mine let me tell you a story so this one time i was at the mall with my sister and we parked our car on the lower basement and we roamed around the mall and once we came back uh, we were looking for our car so both of us kind of forgot that we had parked our car on the lower basement and we almost spent like one hour looking for the car in the upper basement and i was actually super tense that if someone would have stole my car or something so we just thought to just check once at the lower basement and see if it's present over there and surprisingly it was only if i had this google now with me back then i would just said okay google remember that i've parked my car in the lower basement at c12 okay i'll remember you parked in the lower basement in c12 i'll also save a map of your current location fortunately now i will never forget where i have parked my car because i don't really have to remember it i'll just make a note on google and i'll just ask him where i have parked my car that's it okay google where have i parked my car you told me you parked in the lower basement in c12 you were near here at the time Let's face it in today's age uh, finding a phone without a lock screen password is actually as rare as finding true love maybe they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it and in case if your phone gets lost or you drop it somewhere it will actually be really tough for the person who finds it to get the phone back to you like how will they reach out to you if the phone is already logged so not a lot of people know this but you can actually add a piece of text on your lock screen so that whenever it gets lost or someone finds it you can directly show it to them so all you need to do is open up your phone settings and go into the lock screen settings and here you will see an option where you can add text to your phone now you can just write a piece of text like in case of emergency you can contact this number or if lost then contact this like basically giving out your emergency information so in case anything happens to you or if your phone gets lost you can actually believe in people and just trust on humanity that they will give your rightful belongings to you tip number 8 so in the beginning of the video i said that there will be seven tips but i'm also adding a eighth tip over here because hug life i am the one the way your son don't need the gun to get respect so this tip over here is actually very very useful in today's day and age so let's say that you have not used your phone for a extended period of time let's say 4 hours which is more because phone addiction so here you will get a lot of notifications and generally what we do is we press the clear all button what happens is that at times we might have missed some very very important notifications that were present but we just missed it and now it's gone there is no way to see what app gave what notification until now now you can actually see the history of all the notifications that you have received till now along with the date and time stamp So what you have to do is open up your widget page and add the settings shortcut to your home screen. And that's it. Now you can easily see which apps give you what notifications and now you can just open the app and see what was the notification about. Finally, we are at the end of the video and here's the bonus tip for you. 
So it's not an Android trick as such, but it will definitely come in a lot of use in your life now. So generally when there is a power cut in our house or somewhere, uh, we tend to turn out the flashlights of our phone, right? Because who uses candles anymore? But the light that is projected from a flashlight is actually a very focused one and it does not illuminate the room perfectly. So what we can do is we can just place a bottle or a glass over it and that will scatter the light all over the place. And this will actually create a very decent ambience in your room. And now you just have to play some sad trippy music and you're good to party. So now next time when you decide to call your friends over to your place for a low key evening and chill. So you can just use this trick and I'm sure that you will be praised for the next 30 seconds or something. It's a simple spell but quite unbreakable. So these were the top 8 secret Android settings that you can start using on your Android smartphone right now along with that bonus tip which I just gave to you. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, I would really like to know your thoughts and uh, in case if you dislike the video, smash that dislike button and in case you actually like the video, you know what to do. So thank you for watching, my name is Kaushal, peace out.